hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will discuss another important integration in dynamics 365 if you know about microsoft forms then you know about how we can create forms in microsoft forms right now using Mac so microsoft form is the most popular application by which we can create different type of forms like registration form sign up form login forms or you can also set up new quiz context uh, using microsoft forms if you can see my website then you can see i have created a uh, form to send training request so you can see there are some fields and labels and some check boxes radio button so this type of form will be presented you can design this type of form in microsoft forms application and once you submit the request then the response captured in microsoft form application right now we can design elegant and robust uh, application forms or quizzes using this microsoft form and the response is once the form is published online then uh, the responses that are received from the end user or the customers or any user that are you that using the form will be captured and stored in the forms i will show you in details in this video now the point is once the responses are received in this microsoft forms application then how you can read the microsoft application microsoft forms uh, responses uh, in our dynamics 365 entities right so let us start from scratch so uh, we will design a new form in microsoft forms application and we will see how responses are captured and how we can integrate with dynamics 365 entities so we'll see so let us start now if, if you want to log in dynamics 365 uh, you have to go to office.com.com and here you have to open this forms application right so this if you don't see this forms application here then uh, you have to uh, take the trial version of office 365 e5 uh, uh, product subscription trial version and uh, once you have taken so using this admin panel you have to take the subscription once the subscription has been taken you will find this icon here now you have to uh, click on this forms so that the uh, form uh, window will open here you can create either a quiz or a new form i will show you how to create new quiz and how to create new forms okay so let us start creating a new form so click on this new form here it will ask to give a, a form title so let's give a form title let's say uh, webinar Uh, let me give a name like uh, bootcamp registration form okay now you have to give a, a description here please submit please submit your one second guys please submit your details to confirm your registration now once the description is done you have to add new field click on new field now here you can add different types of data items you can add choices like radio buttons and check boxes you can also add input text where users can enter free text you can also add rating rating options rating uh, input field so that user can rate for some field and date and date and time uh, field also can be included rankings uh, likert and file upload net promoter nps and sections can be uh, used in this form now section is used to uh, define different types of paging if your form is more than 10 or uh, 15 uh, fields then it, it will be long enough your form will be long enough so you have to uh, break your page uh, uh, in different pages or different sections so that the next button will be available i'll show you that i'll show you that now let, let us uh, take the first one or if you want to uh, use some suggestion well, from the microsoft uh, forms then you can click this uh, question suggestion then it will give you the options for you 
now here let, let, let me click on this text so that i want to capture the first name of the customer and here the uh, user will enter the answer and if uh, if the first name is long enough then you can click on this long answer but first name is not that much long so if it is description kind of uh, field then you have to click on long answer so that it will uh, provide a um, multi line text item now this required uh, flag will give you the option give the user whether the field is required or optional now i want to make this required so i will click this now i will add another field here and the field type will be is choice and here i will mention let's say gender and i will add options here i can put uh, the uh, uh, put the items of this uh, field from suggested uh, suggestion suggested options let's say um, male and female okay now i will also make it required i don't want to multi line okay okay now once it is done you can see the uh, look and feel will be like this now i can add more fields here let's say i have used choice and text i want to use rating okay let's say give your rating okay now here i can mention whether i want two level or five level ratings so i can give here five and the if it will be number or it will so if it if you define as a star in symbol then the star symbol will be defined displayed on the form now i can add more date and time let's say i will add uh, date of birth if you want so use whatever field you want to capture from the user okay now this data date and time field i can add more okay so uh, keep it uh, simple uh, so this much i have added one two three four fields i've added and i will add another to capture email id let's say uh, email address i can click this so that uh, it will add email address for me okay i can click this text and email now you can click on this preview so that it will display how your uh, form will look like now once the form is designed you can click on this share as soon as so you can also use themes right if you click on theme then you can use one of the theme that you want to use and let's say i want to use this okay now once the preview is done you have to share this because you want to publish this live so that end users or the customers who are visiting your page can see this form and fill up the form and they submit this form so click on share here you can use the link so this is the live link okay i can just copy this if i will go to another window here in the browser and i can put the uh, url then it will throw uh, it, it is trying to log in okay now if you want to uh, use this form in a iframe then you can use this iframe you can copy this i have used in my site like this using a iframe okay so that user can uh, provide a request and submit so i can get the request information okay and if you want to send uh, someone then you can click on this email button so it will email the form link and this is the iframe and this is the qr code uh, so that uh, if you download this qr code and share to others then they can scan this code and uh, they can uh, so they will open the so the form will open in browser so they can work on that okay now once this is designed I want to use this form somewhere okay now I want to publish this form uh, online so that user can uh, give some request okay so let me save this first 
I want to share using so I'll copy and I'll go you can also use this iframe method uh, if you want to use in your website okay Th this will embed the form in your website you can change the uh, security here anyone can respond only people in my organization can respond if it is selected as only people in my organization can respond then it will try it will uh, give you login information right when because when i have copied this in another window it is trying to log in right if i'll go here and paste here it is trying to uh, log in okay but if you want uh, if you don't want to capture login information or anyone any user can provide information then you can change this to anyone can respond and if you now copy this url and go to another window and paste here now for this form this is now public and anonymous access right now if someone give here let's say so i can uh, fill the form here okay mail rating date of birth and email id now once i will submit the response will be submitted now i can see here if you click on the responses i can see the response is captured here okay the last uh, the name response is here and the male female option is selected and rating is given so this, these are the response that i can see as a owner of this form whenever someone uh, submits a response using my portal or anywhere you sub publish your form right now so this is how you can design your uh, microsoft form microsoft form using uh, so you can design your microsoft form and uh, publish this online okay now once this form is done so this this is how we can create forms right now we, we have we capture for responses here now i will come to integration part in a short while but be, before that i will also uh, design a quiz for uh, cube quiz using microsoft forms okay now here i will click on recent or refresh it i have already created a form whose name is bootcamp registration now in this bootcamp registration form i have created some fields but now i want to create a quiz for users okay if you see that in my site also i have created a quiz if you click on test your skills then you can see uh, so this is a you have to put your name here and email id and once you put click next then you will see there are some questions available here okay now you can uh, give questions and uh, submit okay now if i will submit here then it is submitted now the point here is you can create uh, questions uh, we can create question forms or quiz for some uh, purpose if you want to capture leads or if you want to publish some quizzes to end users so that they can check their knowledge then you can create the uh, quiz now if you want to create a new quiz let's say click on new quiz and here i want to give some uh, quiz here let's say general let's say general quiz and description uh, participate in quiz So now i can add the uh, questions here right now i want to add a choice based question click on choice i want to give here the question number one is which is not a microsoft product and here i can choose options let's say uh, office 365 and sap then aws i can give here dynamics let's say 
and let's say share point now I can choose this is a required question and I can also assign a point here for every correct answer every correct answer I provide uh, five points and you have to uh, specify the uh, correct answer okay out of this if the correct answer is this one then you can click on this correct answer so that the system will validate if someone gives uh, wrong answer then system will validate that is the wrong answer so by this way you are providing the system that this is the correct answer and you have to validate against the user's response now this is how we can add multiple you know uh, questions uh, according to our data type or whether it is a choice or checkbox okay let, let, let's say it would be a checkbox click on check choice and let's say uh, which are dynamics product okay now i will see uh, I'll, I'll provide here d365 ce and here d365 fo and i will add o365 i'll give sap now the answer is two right one and two because multiple choice now here you can see multiple answers okay now it will change the radio button to checkbox now the answer is this one and this one now once it is done we can preview this now it will give you here like this okay now you can submit okay now this is how we can see the result okay now we are ready once we are ready to uh, publish this quiz then the same way we can click on share and copy this page and change this to anyone can response respond copy this and go to another window and check that if the uh, if the quiz is displaying or not so it is displaying now I can and so anyone can give the uh, exam and see the results here right now ultimately the response is captured in form forms right you can see two responses are given okay now we have seen that how we can create a quiz and how we can create uh, forms different type of forms using Microsoft forms which is a very popular tool to uh, uh, tool to design quizzes and to uh, capture uh, leads using digital marketing methodology anyway now using this forms we have created two options two forms now how to read these responses if someone respond to a quiz or a, to a bootcamp registration form I want to capture this uh, information responses in my Dynamics 365 entities now we will see so first we have to create a Dynamics 365 entity I'll go here and tables and here I will create a new table and le let me read this bootcamp registration form I will click on new table and give a name bootcamp uh, bootcamp users okay so the additional name let's say I will give name make it lay name and click create I want to add more columns here the columns should be matched with the uh, fields that we have created for this the first name we will uh, so I, I don't want to use first name let me change this full name okay now once it is done I want to uh, store this full name in the name field the second thing is gender okay for gender I will use another choice here the data type will be choice and the in the choices I will use gender if you will find if there is any gender option is available or I can create a new one okay so gender is not there so I can create new one click on the choice click new choice here I can put male and female 
okay now i can click save so i have so i have added two items for this gender okay so you can set the default value i don't want any default value for this now so i will click done now the next point is storing the ratings okay so i'll use another column rating and here i will use text let's say click on done and second thing is date of birth and email i'll use date of birth here i will use date and time and the next thing is i will use uh, email id okay now email let me choose the type as email text and click on done now once i have created all the fields i will save it now once it is saved i will design the form in the view so that i can display the informations that will be created once the response has been captured okay now when we add this new columns i want to go to form and edit the form so add a new form main form in this main form i will add the required fields on this form So this will take some time to load. I'll go to the field options and I can drag and drop. Once it is loaded, I can drag and drop. So by default the name is displaying here okay now I can change this to full name okay and I will drag other fields here let's say email ID and date of birth and gender okay and I'll also drag the rating so these are the uh, fields that are coming from the response of the form someone when someone responds our form now click on save and publish so every time you have to save and click publish so that the form will be uh, published so so that user end users can work on the form Publish is important. So click on publish. So once the form is published, I will go back and I will choose the views and I will add the required columns from the required columns for this entity or the table to the view so that we can see the column items or values or field values in the view okay now it is trying to publish you have to wait for some time it is published now we can go back to the power apps now in the power app we have to again open the data and tables and I will search for the new table that has been created the table name is bootcamp users I'll, this is the table here I will go to forms to see if the yes the main form is created 
so I can edit the main form I have created another main form let me delete this one because I don't need the second main form for this demo I will use the existing main form information uh, main form this is the second one which is the default form and I will add my fields okay I'll go back here and drag and drop I'll filter this to only display the custom one so that it will be easier to use now save then publish okay click on publish so the form design is done now I will go to power apps again and go to views in the views I will use public default view active bootcamp users click on this view now it is uh, we run into problem okay try to again publish this if you will find any error here like this then you have to click on publish again because publish should uh, successfully done otherwise your form will not work properly now click now here you can see the view only contains name and created on I can drag and drop other items here I can drag gender I can drag ratings here and email ID now once it is done I will again do the same thing save and publish click on publish now once the publish process is done I will just close ok and I will again go to the I will go to the home page and I will go to uh, power uh, sorry, sorry I, I will go to power apps because once the entity has been created I have to add this entity in the sitemap so that I can access that uh, uh, entity in sitemap let me go to apps I want to display that entity bootcamp users in my sales hub app in the sitemap so I will use app section and go to sales hub and edit this and here I will see the sitemap option and I will edit the sitemap to add the entity called as bootcamp users okay. if you have already worked on model driven apps then you are already acquainted with this now click on the sitemap click OK now here I want to add the entity below this sales area okay inside this my work group now I will click on this add I will click on this my work area group then I will add click on sub area now I will give I will select the type as entity and here I will search my entity my entity name is bootcamp users okay you can see it is added now I will save and publish now for every time if I want to see the table information or data information for this uh, bootcamp users I can go to sales hub and check that otherwise if you want to if you want to see without uh, editing any sitemap you can see that here if you go to tables and uh, select the table bootcamp users here you will find there is a data option here you click this data you will see all the data that are stored for this uh, entity will or table will be displayed here anyway now once it is designed now I want to add a record here okay let me open this sales hub app I'll open sales hub so that I can create the 
uh, I'll click on this Dynamics 365 and I will open Sales Hub because I have added the um, Bootcamp users entity here you can see this is the entity that I have added now I can see the view also but there will be no data for the time being because I have not added any data but let me create a new item here name sample let's say sample one date of birth I can give anything email ID so I'm just creating a manual uh, record here I am not giving any I'm, I have not integrated yet I'm just trying to uh, create a manual record for this entity okay now this is created now as, as normally in as usual uh, using model driven app for a entity for an for a table we can create records by this way but now what will happen if the form that that is published let me open the form first uh, open the form now if someone uses this form link and trying to uh, you know uh, trying to register the boot camp using this url that i have said i have i have sent this url let me open this in another window now if someone fills this form and click on submit that will not come to this section because i have not yet integrated now i will integrate now using power automate which is very very favorite subject for all to automate our flow or integrations now i will go to power apps and i will go to flow here let us check first uh, if submitting the form creates dynamic 365 entity or not let's say sample 2 mail ratings and email id so once we submit and i will go to dynamics and try to refresh this you can see the data is not coming here this is only staying in the forms entity if you go here here only you will find all responses okay here is the ratings okay here is the date of birth and this is the email id but i want to read this responses in dynamics entities right because it's because we want to integrate so we have to create a microsoft flow now click on this new flow create automated cloud flow because i want to trigger the flow or the power automate whenever an event occurs whenever a response gets captured in microsoft form so click on this automated cloud flow click on skip I want to uh, design start from scratch now give a name here read response from forms to dynamics 365 okay now here you have to choose the trigger the trigger is Microsoft form so write down forms choose microsoft forms as a connector now you will find the trigger when a new response is submitted click on this trigger it will try to connect using your current credential to this microsoft forms app once the connection is success we can go ahead here it is asking which form you want to read or for which form you want to capture the response you have to if you have multiple form it will display here and you have to choose the correct form for which you want to capture the response now you have selected click on new step now this step will trigger whenever a response is captured in microsoft forms for that specific form that you have selected this one now once it is captured what i want to do i want to read all the responses and send in dynamics 365 entities so I will use a for each loop okay so I will just I will click on control and here I will use apply to each for each response I want to create Dynamics 365 records okay now here 
you have to use this response id okay so let me delete this first okay i will use dynamics 365 here or series common data service i want to put i want to create uh, dynamics 365 entities so i can create new records and here i will choose environment the environment is current environment and the entity name is I can delete so I can use that uh, wait one second we have a common data service yes I can search common data service here and you will see there is option common data service current environment right so click on this and here I want to add a I want to create record so add a new row here and choose the table the table name is uh, bootcamp users so I can go down and only use bootcamp users okay. now so these are the uh, ent tab uh, these are the fields that I want to assign okay for name I want to assign the uh, So before so okay before the creation of the entity record we have to read the response because this is the trigger which will identify wh whether a response has been captured or not but we have not yet uh, retrieved all the responses right so click on this plus icon click on this action and use again the same Microsoft form to read the responses now here action is get response details click on this get response details now here you have to use for which form you want to read okay and the response id should be the response id in the dynamic content now once the responses are captured here i can add a now here i can choose name as a full name this is coming from get response details step click on for full name <coughs> and the bootcamp user is the so in the date of birth I will add date of birth and email ID let's say search email ID here and gender okay let's see so this much I have added here okay I, I don't want to capture other things right now to see if it is working fine or not click on save now once it is saved you can test it so I can choose automatically or click on manually test <coughs> Once you have clicked test, it is telling that to see the work, to see it work now, submit a new response and select a form. Now I will go here and try to submit another response here. Let's say Sanjay mail ratings date of birth is something. The email ID, let's say Sanjay at the rate gmail.com. And I will submit. Now I will go here and I will check if the flow is running or not. See? Now it is telling your flow is running. Now it is trying to pull the responses and try to add create and try to add records here in Dynamics. So I'll go to Dynamics to see if the record is created or not. So this create this record is created last time manually, but if I will refresh, I'm expecting another record here. Now this record has been created out of this integration process. Okay. So as this uh, Power Apps, Power Automate works in between Power Microsoft, Microsoft Flow, uh, and, sorry, Microsoft Forms and Dynamics 365. 
so it is trying to read all the response uh, it, it is trying to read the response immediately and try to put it in our dynamics 365 entities now i hope you understand how power uh, automate can be created and uh, how power automate can be you know uh, configured to read responses using microsoft form uh, forms on the go without writing a single line of code okay so thank you guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and you learn about microsoft form and microsoft power automate integrations and uh, if it helps please subscribe my channel and click the like button and uh, click on the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i will put uh, or i will upload videos related to dynamics and power platform thank you see you later